More! Lunch break! Hi. 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 Chen, what are we doing today? Well... We're having lunch. We're having lunch. We have kava today. Mmm. Mm. So we thought we would revisit a funny episode that we did previously. So this is part two of... Shower Thoughts. Yay! Woo! I'm excited because I wasn't on the first one and I rewatched it yesterday and it was hilarious. Yes. And we all take showers, so we already have that in common. This actually came up because I was having my own shower thought the other day. So I recently re-downloaded Pokemon Go and I was catching a Diglett. And when I was catching the Diglett, I just suddenly remember this thought I've had all these years. Like, what does Diglett really look like? <laughs> Underground. Yeah, right? yeah. You don't know? Everybody knows. And then that got me thinking about a bunch of other random questions. And I just went down a weird hole. I think it's it's been settled that Diglett is like this big buff dude that's like, it's just a head, right? There's a bunch There's of an image, it, yes, right? where it's like a little head, <laughs> and underneath it's a giant body. Yeah. I like when Diglett evolves into Doug Trio and it looks like three Diglets, right? Mm -hmm. There's three buff dudes. That's what you would think. There's one image I saw where it's actually like one body, and then he's like grabbing his knees. His knees have and faces. His, his knees have faces. And <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. The knees just pop up. Can you right? draw that? Uh, we'll show it. Yeah. I have my whiteboard. So the more realistic, right, expectations. Yeah. What did they intend for him to look like when they designed that? Like, is he just like a little potato? <laughs> he just like squiggles around? Mm. Or does he eat like kind of like a badger or something like mm. little, little tiny arms and like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a gopher or something. Yeah. Just like a big, dense worm. Like, mm -hmm. oh. I think what you asked me yesterday is, how does he get around? But then in the cartoon, when he moves around, he leaves behind like a trail. So he just, he's above ground. He's always above ground, he's pushing himself. A lot of, the, or he, he will dig under, but like just for effect, they'll like have him like... Oh. You know, that kind of, that reminds me of a shower thought that I saw about like toilets and plumbing because it's kind of like the same thing. So like when you're sitting on a toilet, you're also connected at the same time to everybody else that's like sitting on a toilet. So it's like kind of like an internet in a way. And then like you're on your phone, you're on the internet too. Shit internet. So yeah. Dude. <laughs> Dude. So like you think about it, your butt is like, yeah. the, is, the, is a USB yeah. and you're connecting yeah. your ethernet cord and you're just plugging yourself into the toilet. Yes. And you're sending data to like, <laughs> oh man, your butt's exposed <laughs> to other butts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No butt network. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's so true. Yeah. And then that also reminds me of this one thought I had about like, um, like airport bathrooms. Oh my God. Like they could advertise that they have heated toilet seats because the toilet seats are always just always warm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Ghost cheeks. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my pet peeves. Is it? No, just any seat that's warm mm -hmm. when I sit in. But what if it is like an automated heat? You yeah. Know? Like what are if it's one of those fancy, that? fancy Japanese toilets? I've been on those. Every day. Yeah. And was I, it nice? It kind of feels like a waste of power. I'm like, no, nah, you didn't have to do that for me. But there, was it nice? No, I mean, the days okay. are awesome. That was nice. No. It's especially nice in the winter. All bathrooms should be Japanese bathrooms. That's a good one. That's a good one. So that's like a two in one. Mm. Yeah. Okay, we all have shower thoughts. Okay, yeah. I, I have some too. Yeah, go. Okay. I, I just pull mine from the internet. Aww. But these are some ones I thought made me laugh uh, a lot. Okay. If bed bugs are found on beds, then cockroach must have been found on a rather ah! strange place. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's just gross. Why is it called a cockroach? Wow. Me on a chicken? Yeah, on a chicken. Chicken, yeah, chicken pen. And that's the end you of that. I'll be like, there's like <laughs> certain, certain names <laughs> of <laughs> animals that have like, mm -hmm. definitely like obvious origins. Right. Mm. Um, let's, let's, let's be consistent with our naming, you know? Let's mm. be consistent. A group of squid should be called a squad. Mm. Mm. That. What is a group of squid called? And why isn't it squad? But. Have you ever actually seen a group of squid? Maybe they're more solitary creatures. So my theory is so far confirmed, which is shower thoughts have a lot to do with language and mm. categorizing things and why they don't always make sense. I feel like uh, I watched last year's episode and a lot of it was like, well, it should be called this if, you know, mm. off logic. So yeah, your two are kind of about what things are called, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah do you think they have shower thoughts in other languages? Oh. They don't work with the English language? I mean, they're just ideas, right? And questions, so I, I would- They must. They must. They must. Okay, let's keep going. Wait, do you think shower thoughts is a cultural thing? 
Like no. this would not make sense to you know to someone. No, I'm sure everyone has like odd thoughts There's, of like yeah. that, you know carries well, really them know down this. different paths. But maybe like the language thing is like specific. I don't think it's specific yeah. to language because there's one I had that I read. It's like. You're perfectly fine wearing your socks all day, right? But then when you take your socks off, it's gross when you put them back on, right? Mm -hmm. So that doesn't have to do with language. What? Like, would you put on your used socks? No, because they're socks, sweaty. Right, but you were fine wearing them all day. Because you are you got used to them. Yeah, what if the day was defined by a different length of time? You'd still be wearing it, so. It's the difference of, clean, of when you first put them on. I'm wearing socks from yesterday right now. Just so you know. <laughs> That was that smell. By choice. <laughs> so what are these beans and where can I find them and why are they so cool? Beans? Cool beans, like... Oh. oh. No one ever asked... Cool beans. Where, where did that come from? Everyone just goes with it. Okay. Keep, like these are, these are infamous beans. Yeah. And no one's asking themselves. We just said, all right, well, let's just... That's a thing. Do you guys know? I think it's just slang. Like we got cool. Cool's always gonna be here. Okay. And then someone said beans. Let's put them together. I think that was just like a word thing. Like it just no, sounds funny together. Not because they thought beans were cool. I'm disappointed. That's like saying sick is is cool, but sick is also like disease. But why did beans like get the okay to be like the thing to be cool? Like here's a here's a trick or treating one, okay? Halloween just passed. If everyone is trick or treating, no one can go trick or treating. <laughs> For the betterment of the masses, some people will have to give it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They must. They must. They must. It's kind of sad. So, so it's kind of like. It's kind of sad. sad now. Yeah. <laughs> when you guys go trick or treating, when you say thank you, I hope you say thank you. It's not for the candy, but it's for what they're sacrificing. Yeah. Cool. If anything, like those people that aren't trick or treating are like heroes. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. That one. Technically, every dog that is like a pet is bilingual. Every mm -hmm. dog. Like it understands English or whatever, and also dog. Well, if you're a bilingual, like you speak mm -hmm. Cantonese, do you have like Cantonese thoughts? Do you think in Cantonese, you know? Mm. No. The voice in your head? I've never... You always think in English? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's interesting. Well, if, if you're like perfectly fluent and bilingual, I think that you can... You think can switch in, it? Yeah. It'd be, but then it, I think thinking is like whatever your preferred prominent language is, yeah. no matter what. Like even if you can uh, know it. That'd be so much work just trying to translate it in my head. Yeah. <laughs> That's why dogs just look at you and like, what? Yeah, the head, the head tilts <laughs> are there for a reason. Do you want me to just scratch me? <laughs> but the same thing, like a mute person, do they have a voice in their head? And like, wh what does it sound what like? What does it sound like yeah, in yeah, their head? Yeah. This actually goes off what you guys are talking about. So everyone actually has three voices. The one in your head, the one you hear when you talk, and the one that everyone else hears. So you're perceiving, mm -hmm. perceiving three totally different things. And you will never know, really, truly what mm -hmm. the differences are. Because you can record your voice, but then like the way you perceive your own voice is different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the vacuum cleaner thing, yeah. every time you clean a vacuum cleaner, you become the vacuum cleaner. Oh my god! <laughs> you say that about any cleaner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's like a role reversal. I did that the other day. You're like, Wait a minute, who's the vacuum cleaner here? So vacuuming sucks. <laughs> I mean, cleaning a vacuum also sucks. Oh man, it's a good one. I like that one. I like that one. I saw this one. When you found the perfect hiding spot, it's not actually the perfect hiding spot. Because <gasps> you, you found it. Oh. I have a kind of morbid one. You'll never know when was the last time you visited a place. Like, or that was the, your last visit mm -hmm. oh. to a location. I read one like that. Like, you never know when the last time you'll see someone. Mm -hmm. On that one, then, it's <laughs> like, a lot of us, I'd say most of the world, begin their uh, life and end their life in the same kind of institution, a hospital. Like, literally, we'll see it again. This became sad break. Uh, this is the one I really liked. The creator of Photoshop could have had a lot of fun if he just, he or she just didn't tell anyone about <laughs> it. Oh. I use Photoshopping stuff for years. Yeah. Like, that team, if they're like, what if we don't make this public? <laughs> Look at all this power we have. <laughs> like, and they just released all these, like, images. Yeah. This new creature has been discovered. <laughs> this one's not really a shower thought. I thought it was funny. Walking into a spider web is like getting free kung fu lessons. <laughs> <laughs> I posted this last year sometime, but the eclipse is really just like a photo bomb. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yes. Oh man. You Wait, you posted it. that? Yeah, it's my caption for the eclipse. Oh man, I didn't see that <laughs> caption. <laughs> It's the most celebrated photo bomb in of all, of all time. time. Like people wait for it to happen. Thanks, Taylor. It's really good. Thanks, Taylor. It's really good. And to come back to my Pokemon thoughts and our eating thoughts. You know, we eat meat and stuff, yeah. fish, whatnot. They do too. Who are they eating? Who? Po the Pokemon? What are they eating? Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. What other animals eat? Why does it have to be Pokemon? I guess because I, if you put it in the context of the real world, then yes, they'll be eating Pokemon. Oh my god. Oh but man. That's what I'm saying. That's my conclusion. <laughs> I think it's just because they focus so much on the cuteness and like the coolness of the Pokemon that you're like, oh, all they do is like battle and you train them and breed them, but there's no such thing as eating them because you're friends. Maybe they're all like vegetarians. Okay, on that note, do regular animals exist in the Pokemon universe? <gasps> no. Because they're no. just all. Animals, right? Yeah. Like, are there chickens? Because like that's the Pokemon, but that's just a chicken. They must. They must. They must. I mean, that, no, there are animals then, right? Because there's like there's plants, and then there's like the yeah the Pokemon that are plants. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. Right, like there's actual there's real trees that aren't wow. cap you can't capture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let us know which of our shower thoughts you like the most, and if you have one of your own, comment down below. Yeah, but dry off first because you don't want to get your phones or your computers wet. What? If they're in the shower. Oh, shower! Yeah, yeah, yeah. H2. Oh, uh, got it. Thanks, guys. Um, we'll see you next Thursday. Bye. Bye.